the day of the mun, the mun day. A little overcast, have an umbrella just in case. But I was, uh, it was suggested to me to try uh, the topic, disagreeing with people in a civilized manner. Challenging, isn't it? When someone does not support or agree with your point of view on something or a topic or a subject. And uh, it's like almost stuff I was talking about. Like someone that you know or you're friends with, especially on social media. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I really don't do that, but <laughs> this kind of came up. Now, how you come to an understanding to hear each other's points of view and respect them and not go off the handle. It's a challenge, isn't it? Especially with social media. Because you're kind of protected by your words and this false sense of uh, self that you have online. Because there is the online you and then there's the normal you <laughs> online and, 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 and social media sites it's very tricky because you're just using words and emojis I mean if you could post a video then obviously you have a little more to go by because you have tone and facial expressions and you, you can understand a little more I think I work better this way typing stuff back and forth with someone oh goodness <laughs> So exhausting. And I had uh, disagreements with people over the weekend online and it started to get ugly. Um, I don't know, I just, you know, me, I posted something positive and other people chimed in with some negative stuff. It's just like, why can't you just be happy for me for something and if not as I've said in other rambles don't say anything at all if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all um, and it just got kind of out of hand granted me I could have had the option of hiding things from a timeline or not even commenting on stuff like that I could have done that but I wanted to see what I can do got a little out of hand, but other people I know came in and supported me and even <laughs> took over the conversation because I stopped after a few things. It just gets exhausting. And as I've said, I don't want those energy vampires to suck my energy. So I said, the hell with it. Let me just leave it alone. But if we were doing it face-to-face, -face, I think we could come to a little understanding because then I could talk and you can listen to what I have to say, you can talk, and I can listen to what you have to say. And then we could try to calmly discuss it. Keyword is try. Because people get so passionate about things that they won't listen to anything you have to say. They won't listen to reason. This is one of the hardest things between men and women. I've said it before. We think mostly logical women are mostly fueled by feelings and emotions. It's just how we're wired. Biochemical. Trust me, it's, like, it's, it's a kind of a wake-up call. But not to say that either side will let those things dominate their thoughts and feelings. There could be men who are more emotional than logical. There could be women who are more logical than emotional. Very true. Or you could be a great admixture of both and know when to go with your emotions and go with, then go with logic. But it's very hard to persuade someone unless you speak that language. Like if you're coming from a logical point of view, you've lost the audience that's mainly run by emotion, feelings. Same thing, another point of view. If you're going to give me emotion and feelings and 
I'm thinking more logically, it's going to be challenging. So, but we can still discuss things civilized. It's hard to do it when you're typing, though. It is very challenging. And like I said, my energy is worth more valuable than wasting time typing back and forth. People disagree. I'd rather have a face-to-face -face civilized conversation with someone that disagrees. And I've had that, you know. I've, I've had it with a guy. Uh, and we understood each other. I understood his point of view. I understood mine. And it's fine. We're still friends. So it can be done. Take the time. Just have, give each other a chance to speak. So it's like that shut up and listen thing. Let the other person talk. Don't interrupt them and let them say what they have to say. And then you do the same thing. It's a mutual thing. And then we could disagree amicably. Hopefully that helps. That's all I can say. <laughs> the ramble is over, babies. Until next time, ramble on.